Hey everyone, I basically want to come and do a, another short video showing you all exactly what I display to my class, the Punnett Square. Before I get into that, it needs to be first understood that the oldest individual to ever be found on the face of the earth was a woman given the name of Lucy who was African. She was found in South Africa. This literally ended all arguments that anyone on the face of the earth did not come from African people. That means that African people are the father and the mother of the entire universe. Now, the Punnett Square. This is what a Punnett Square is. This is what we use in science to display gene, genes and genotype. This right here is five groups of people, the five groups of people of color. You have the black, who is the African, the brown, who is considered the Middle Eastern, the red, who is considered the Native American or the Latin. You have the yellow, who is considered the Asian, and the white, who is considered the European, just to keep it simple. Now, these two big X's display the, the African because we are genetically dominant. Anyone that doesn't understand that black people are genetically dominant is a person that has first been miseducated on themselves. They've been, we've been taught to think that we're inferior, but the science behind it is all black people are genetically dominant. Now, the two small X's are white people, recessive. White people are a recessive gene. That means that when they have children with a black man or a black woman, all of the children will have the recessive allele masked by the dominant allele. So when you look at Thandie Newton from Norbit, she has a British father and a Nigerian mother, but she still displays blackness because blackness is dominant. When you look at Barack Obama, who has a Kenyan father and a white mother, he will still be black because black is, is, is the masker of his white. It's literally dominant. The same thing goes for Tiger Woods. So literally, anytime a black has a child with a brown, the child is now black. Black has a child with a red, the child is black, yellow, white, the exact same thing. This is where racism comes in. White people are literally 16 to 18 percent of the entire world population, making them the minority. The thing about whiteness is it's a recessive gene. So you literally have to have two white parents, two white parents in order to be white. So when Dylan Roof says you're raping our women, what does he mean by that? He means that any time a white woman has a child with a black man, those children are not white anymore because in order to clarify as white, you have to be 100 percent white. Well, to the people that are already the minority, it is extremely important to hold on to the, the genetics that they already have because their genetics are already recessive. So think about prison. Why are so many black men are in prison? Because if you're in prison, what are you not doing? You are not having children. Why does it seem so many black, black American men are turning homosexual? So many black women are lesbians. Because if you are lesbian homosexual, you are not what? You are not procreating your race. The basis of racism is white people understanding that if we do not kill black people at all times, that they will eventually kill us. So when you look at black men being pulled over by oftentimes European police officers shot and killed for no reason, it's because they subconsciously understand that if I do not kill him, that he's going to kill my children with his genetics. Racism is not simply somebody hating you because, you know, you got this fly car or because they don't want to see you do well. White people do not want to go exterminate, exterminate, uh, excuse, excuse me, extinct. So in order for them not to go to extinct, they created a system called racism, white supremacy in order to kill black people, black people, because we show the strongest genetic variability. So when you go to Africa, you're going to see a lot of different diseases that target black people because we have got to diminish your numbers if we have a chance of living and surviving. This is the rate. This is the reality of racism. So we've been taught to hate our skin, we've been taught to hate our lips, we've been taught to hate our wide noses, we've been taught to hate everything about blackness because really we're dominantly strong. Think about Venus and Serena Williams dominating in tennis. Think about Tiger Woods dominating in golf. Think about all of the amazing you know, basketball players that have played in the NBA, amazing NFL players. The majority of those individuals, if not always, are people of African descent, are black people. That's not coincidental because we are genetically strong. We are genetically stronger than any individual on the entire face of the earth and the European knows that. So if he wants to live for the next 200 years and have blue eyed, blonde haired children, then that means unfortunately he has to kill us. Understand, overstand, wake up, love being black. Bye.